you guys are going to get an opportunity to do something very special on Sunday, something that's never been done before in the National Football League. Everybody playing is going to have a sticker of a different fallen hero on their helmet. Okay, so understand, this means a lot to a lot of these people, and what you're doing is a tremendous service, and a lot of these people really do truly believe in who you guys are. We've been recognized as the uh, most military-friendly state between us and South Carolina, and you look at all the military installations that are around. I'm proud of the fact that we are one of the teams that is you know, going above and beyond. As the son of an Army officer, the impact sports can have on a military family isn't lost on Coach Ron Rivera. My father went to Vietnam twice, and, and during those times, I was relatively young the first time, but the second time, you, know, you were kind of aware. So sports really kind of distracted you from what was really happening. Prior to their game against the Packers, each Panther received a different fallen soldier's story. A decal of the soldier's initials was placed on each player's helmet. So often we're told as football players, you get one name and you represent the name on your back. For the first time in a long time, we get to represent somebody else's name. And, um, and we want to put our best foot forward when we do that. This is to honor those that have fallen in their service to our country. These people, they sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice for, for us, for our freedoms. He did exactly what we do as kids, played sports. But when I got to the part where they said he flew a glide plane at 12, that's the part that kind of just blew me away, man. When Seth was really young, and our Sunday afternoon activities were, was to stop by the little Willgrove Mint Hill Airport, just sit on the hood of the car and watch the little planes take off, he was, he was meant to fly. Always having his sights set on flying, Captain David Seth Mitchell signed up for the Marine Corps. He didn't have good enough eyesight to fly in the Marine Corps. Uh, initially, but he had good enough eyesight that he could shoot pretty well. His unit was a sniper unit, which is how he got his call sign. He had the only cool call sign of all the pilots he knew. Sniper. Who doesn't want that call sign, right? Keeping his boyhood dream in the crosshairs, Seth received corrective eye surgery to finally become a pilot in the Marine Corps. I respect most about him that he didn't give up on it, on becoming a pilot. Major Larry is a leader He's a man with initiative, um, wanting to go out and get things done. Me playing football, so it doesn't even compare to what he's done for us as a country and for his family. The ROTC was doing a demonstration to repel off the gym. And we were watching, and they offered the people in the audience a chance to do it, and nobody said anything. So Larry said, my mama will do it. <laughs> so I did. Sean, he seemed like a cool guy. You know, he's got his shades on with his dog. Just looking forward to representing him, knowing that he's a Carolina guy, uh, really means a little bit of extra. Although a member of the Navy, Master at Arms Second Class Sean Brazes spent more time on land than sea with his military dog, Sicario. Their assignment was to locate enemy IEDs. The dog and the dog handler developed a bond that, that is almost unbreakable. You can, a slight inflection of your head, anything, that dog knows what you want to do. When he was over, posted overseas, we would send him a Panthers jersey. It was pretty cool to be out there and sort of representing the Panthers, I guess, overseas. It's a mindset, fellas. It's a mindset, man. Keep going, man. Now starts, shifts to the strong side. Roger swing pass. The black jerseys are there. Let it do your thing, 41. Good job, Roman Hawk. Sean is definitely loved by many, and because of that, um, his name and his legacy will continue to live on. The mission he was on, which was on a, they were ambushed, was rescue mission. Unfortunately, Sean passed, but the last things he said was, uh, tell my family I love them, take care of my buddies, and please take care of my dog. And he's buried with full military honors in Arlington. He went to Pakistan, guy dressed in a Pakistani soldier uniform, uh, fired on him and his men, and he stepped between him. The men took the brunt of the, and uh, changed our lives forever. It's not only uh, Major Larry, it's, his entire family that made that sacrifice. And I'll say thank you and, and to keep, keep pounding. Keep pounding on them, man. Keep pounding on them. Don't stop. Keep pounding.
morning. I think his name is Philly Brown. All right, Philly, we're expecting big things out of you today. So let's That's let's right. see it. Let's see you keep pounding out there. I would definitely want to know, you know, if there was anything that he did. So, you know, if I if I do something good on Sunday, I can do it just to honor someone like him. Here comes a blitz. Newton's got to figure something out. Loads up, arches a pass. Philly Brown left side. Seth was serving his country. He was a Marine. He was a Cobra pilot. So he, he totally lived his dream. To show that level of respect by wearing their initials on the helmet is, I think, is a, it's a great honor. It, it means a lot to us. This type of salute to service, I think, puts it in perspective because it is a big game, but at the same time, this is bigger. It is a big honor. Um, it'll be a big honor to hear just hear his name announced. He'd want us to have a big time because he loved having a, a fun time. He would be thrilled and he would be honored beyond belief that the Panthers would take the time to honor our fallen heroes.